My name is Carl Obermeyer and I'm a light rail operator. Uh, I've been here about eight years now, going on nine years. I've been with the company 12 years, going on 13. So enjoy getting people to and from where they're trying to go and being, being a part of a thriving metropolitan community. I've been on the bus side for about four years and I was ready for a change, learn some new skills. It's good for people that, you know, have attention to detail. You have to be focused out there. Uh, not that you don't as a bus operator, but it's a different type of focus at rail. I and mean, we start early, you know, all the trains pull up between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. So uh, you really have to watch your signals. And, um, you know, there's there's a lot of rules and regulations that go along with, with operating a train. And uh, you have to be aware of those and you have to constantly be vigilant. Trains are very responsive, but, you know, they're large, uh, heavy, uh, objects and objects in motion tend to want to stay in motion and so um, it does take time to stop them so you have to give yourself enough space and time to, re to react to whatever's happening out there. On the bus side you have a lot more personal interaction with the customers you know one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, with light rail you, you are locked in your in an operator's cab so you don't have as much interaction with the customer. We are constantly listening to radios all day long to, to hear what's going on on the line. You've got uh, relationships with the supervisors, you've got relationships with your fellow operators, with the mechanics, uh, you know, uh, with the cleaners of the trains, uh, uh, you know, all of the people, the signals department, the communications department, the track department, these are all people that you're gonna you know, see in your day to day, you rely on each other out there. Yeah, it kind of feels like a small town or a you know a big family or whatever. You know, you yeah, it's it's uh, we're we're a lot smaller than most of the bus garages as far as operators and numbers of people, but you get to know everybody really well. We have some really really good instructors, and so there is a lot to learn. There's a lot of information thrown at you in the training. Um, the first two weeks of the training are, are all classroom, so it's just, you know, information coming at you, you know, for two weeks straight, and then, and then you start kind of applying the information out on the, you know, out in the real world on the train, so. But they, they ease you into it. You know, we want people to succeed. We want them to stay. We want good people, because um, that just makes everyone's life easier and makes it safer and all of the above, so. Um, and then people enjoy their jobs better. Well, it's not for everyone, no, um, first of all. But uh, if you have an interest in it and think it's something that might be for you, I definitely would encourage people to check it out. I enjoy it and um, yeah, I enjoy being a light rail operator. And uh, when I'm in the train, I feel like I have a, wi I have a window office, you know? Um, so I, I, even though I'm not technically outside, I feel like I'm outside. I get to see the sunshine, I get to, I get to see the sights of the city. For me, I, I prefer that to sitting at a desk all day staring at a computer screen.